And good morning, everybody. Today I'm back in Texas and I'm traveling to Texas City to meet a ship that came in last night. Once on board, I'm going to be working on the vessel's voyage data recorder and also doing a radar repair. It should make for a very interesting day. Stay tuned. One thing Texas City is famous for is the 1947 fertilizer ship explosion that at the time was the largest production disaster in the United States history. The explosion was so powerful, it basically wiped Texas City off the map and killed over 600 people. The Port of Texas City is located south of Houston and just north of Galveston Island. On the right hand side of the screen shown now, the red dots are actually ships waiting their turn to come into port. At times, these ships can number in the hundreds. What you are seeing now is the path that my vessel took on the way in. One thing about Texas City, if the wind is blowing in the right direction, there is a very good chance you will smell it way before you see it. Whenever you are visiting the vessel, the very first step in the process is you must check in at the security gate at the particular terminal or plant the vessel is located at. To be granted access, you must be on a gate list that was sent before your arrival, either from the agent or the ship owner. I am now at the very first checkpoint to get into the Port of Texas City. Now, the Port of Texas City is a very strict terminal, and this is actually the number one of three guard check-in points I must go through. Security is very strict here, and video recording and pictures past this point until I get to the vessel are, are strictly not allowed. So unfortunately I must stop recording now until I reach the vessel. After a very long walk down the dock, a very steep gangway is a typical way the vessel is boarded. And just like that I'm on the bridge of the ship. Before I actually get into the details of the work I'm going to be performing on board, I will give a brief tour of the bridge and the port of Texas City. Here we can see a dredge working. It is basically a non-stop process of continuous dredging to keep the water deep enough for these large vessels to come into the port. And there's one thing that never ceases to amaze me, the size of the steering wheels on these large ocean going vessels. And now after all that, let's get back to the reason why I'm actually on board the vessel and what my purpose is today. So on board this particular vessel, the Voyage Data Recorder, the VDR, is not properly recording the image from the Ectus. Uh, the VDR on a vessel is essentially the same thing as a black box on an airplane. It records all the critical information that is happening on the vessel, uh, the audio conversations, the radio conversations, uh, the ship's position, the ship's speed, the water depth, everything that is happening in case there is an accident or some sort of incident, uh, they can recover this information and see what happened after the fact. I will get into much more detail about the uh, the VDR, how it functions and what it actually records and a little bit later in this video. That is very interesting to see. Okay. And the part we are looking at now is the fixed capsule for the vessel. This is the equivalent of the black box portion of an airplane. Uh, the part I'm touching with my finger now is an acoustic beacon. In the event that the ship sank, this sends out an audio tone every few seconds that the remote operated vehicle would be able to go down to the bottom of the ocean and locate this capsule and pull it off of the vessel. Within this capsule is all the data that is being recorded on the VDR. So anything that has happened on the vessel within the last 13 hours, actually that is wrong. This is a newer system. This particular version of the capsule and VDR has 48 hours of data recorded on it. Now let's get into some more interesting stuff. The gray box mounted on the wall is the data collection unit for the VDR. My laptop is connected to it via a network cable. If we go down to my actual laptop, you can see a visual representation of what is actually being recorded in the VDR. We have the ship's position, the time, the speed, uh, what is being displayed on the radar, uh, the ECTUS, all the different devices on the vessel. So another job that I'm supposed to be doing today is changing the motor in the radar. It's very cold and it's raining a little bit, so I may not be able to actually do that part of the job. I can't take the covers off the radar if it's raining. Let's go take a look off the front of the ship. They 
have the hoses connected now. So cargo operations have started. We're the only ship in the port of Texas City today, which is very unusual. Well, my work here is now complete. Only thing left to do is get my paperwork signed and then I can make the long drive home. Uh, hope everybody enjoyed this video. Uh, the main purpose of me making these videos is to give uh, people an insight to a lot of things they may not ever have the opportunity to see. Uh, the marine, merchant marine industry, the shipping industry is a very unique business that uh, not everybody is privy to, to see. So I hope you enjoyed this video and if you liked this video, uh, please like, subscribe, share. Uh, I'll be making more of these in the future. So uh, hope you enjoyed it. Goodbye.